Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're gonna talk about the comic book industry. We're gonna talk about Mark Miller potentially getting canceled. I don't know if you can cancel Mark Miller. He's, he's a pretty big name in comics, but his peers are certainly going to try. I don't think he cares. Mark Miller is uh, making some tweets that he, he knew, I'm sure he knew was going to whack the beehive uh, with his peers. I'm using air quotes here, his peers in the comic book industry. Now, this is a guy who has had a very long, distinguished career in comics. He is very much a, I believe, a self-made man. He's got his own imprint. He's making deals with Netflix. He's selling lots of comics. Uh, he's highly regarded for his work. But now people are starting to realize that, hey, maybe he's, he's not really part of Team Comics. Maybe he's an independent thinker. And uh, they're trying to shame him, including... Mark Hamill, Hamill himself, uh, calling out Mark Miller, saying that that uh, he's going to unfollow him. So let's talk about this this insanity in the comic book industry. It's more interesting to talk about the drama in the comic book industry than it is to talk about the actual comic books being made these days, right? And uh, that's that's sad. That's really sad. It used to be that we had creators all over the place politically. Some creators had some very eccentric views. R.I.P. Neil Adams. Uh, but, you know, we still respected their work and, uh, you know, we would humor them now and then. But uh, now if you step out of line, if you talk out of turn on Twitter, your peers are going to try to find a reason to cancel you. Uh, and again, I think it gets to a place where, where you're not easily canceled when you are kind of a force unto yourselves. Uh, and, and there are some creators out there that have these Hollywood deals that have their own production companies that they're basically insulated from this catty backbiting bullshit that goes on in the comic book industry. Netflix didn't dump Dave Chappelle. They're not going to dump Mark Miller, but we've got people tweeting at them anyway. Let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, no woohoos today. Geeky's not here. Go out to clownfishtv.com for more objective pop culture news, including, including objective comic book industry news. We do cover the comic book industry now and then. Again, like I said, there's not a whole lot, uh, not a whole lot going on in the comic book industry. It's worth talking about, but this kind of drama is. So Mark Miller put a tweet out this morning, 2.29 a.m., uh, basically saying he likes Robert F. Kennedy Jr. About RFK, he said his father and uncle were murdered by the establishment, and yet here he is believing in the American dream and common sense politics. In a filthy two-party system serving only the war machine, RFK is special. Imagine someone this decent in the White House. Uh, it's been a long time since we've had a presidential president <laughs> in the White House. I'm just saying. Uh, you know what? Normally, that that wouldn't be a controversial statement, but you know why it is? Even though Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is a Democrat, you know why it's controversial? Because he has been labeled an anti-vax uh, zealot, an anti-vax zealot. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., yes, a Kennedy is, is leading the charge against uh, vaccine mandates and all of that. So this is not setting well with his peers. And again, I'm using air quotes because so many of these people think they are Mark Miller's peers. They actually are not his peers. They're not even in the same same league as Miller, uh, you know, except for Mark Hamill, who I don't know, dude, what happened to you? Like what happened to Mark Hamill? He's, he's just gone crazy in the last couple of years. So let's look at some of the replies and then we'll look at the, uh, the quotes. Short comic tweets. I like him too, which means he'll never win. Yes, see, see Tulsi Gabbard. I actually like Tulsi Gabbard quite a bit. They won't let him debate Biden. Probably won't let him debate any other Democrat. It's a madhouse here in the States. Yeah, Miller is uh, Scottish. I believe he's Scottish. The old system is falling apart. TV debates aren't where it's at. A couple of hours on Joe Rogan is worth more. That is true. Mark Hamill, don't make me block you. Is that how you deal with dissenting voices, Mark? How very dark side of you. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. Now, I know Mark Hamill has, has definitely jumped on the, uh, the anti-Trump train. Why is he still on Twitter? I have no idea. But it's not a good look, dude. It's not a good look. Uh, respectfully, Mark, no. When RFK Jr. was championing for everyone to have clean drinking water, then yes, that was decent. Now he thinks the same water is making boys trans among other conspiracy theories he subscribes to. <laughs> Heidi McDonald, are you people 
out of your minds. Are you people out of your minds? Are you out of your minds? You people? Uh, go back to posting pro-Brexit and flat earth memes. And for Palpatine says, do it, man, do it. Oh, Mark, please know. The Dread Pirate Mark Brooks, again, not in the same league, not even close to being in the same league as uh, Mark Miller. Don't put anti-vaxxer and politic politically wooing the right-wing nutter crowd as aspects of a decent person, says Richard Pace, uh, who I only know because the guy's like super anti-comics gate. I don't know any of his work. I, I, I don't know any of his work. Um, Mike S. Miller, not to be confused with Mark Miller, says the left hates him. That's true. Uh, well, not everybody. Not everybody on the left hates him, right? Uh, not everybody on the left hates him. Uh, there, there were actually quite a few celebrities that were endorsing him early on. In fact, Evangeline Lilly almost got canceled. Or they tried to cancel her because she went to one of his rallies. You know? Uh, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, here we have a libertarian a libertarian forum. He's speaking there, too. Uh, I, I appreciate the hedgehog. I myself, I myself am a hedgehog, for those of you wondering. I am actually a registered hedgehog. Um, that, is my, that is my political affiliation. Uh, not you two. Come on. The dude is a pathological liar. Who is this guy? Let's see who this guy is. Dad, uber nerd, and dark hawk fanboy. Okay. All right. Let's, um, let's look at his peers, quoting him, retweeting him. Aaron Myers, still surprising that people don't know what a right-wing conspiracy nut Miller is. He's been fairly vocal about it for a decade now. I noticed it during Brexit when he was posting a lot of pro-leave stuff. Uh, Ethan of Argo City. Ethan of Argo City. Uh, he, him, autistic. Okay, I don't think an actual comic book pro. Uh, how long do you think we have before Mark Miller and Ethan Van Skyver release the worst comic you've ever read about superheroes being canceled? I don't know. Miller's got Netflix money. I don't think he gives a shit what you think. I'm going to be honest. Like, when you get your big fat ass, when you get your big fat ass out of bed, when you get your big fat ass Netflix deal, uh, you know, you can say whatever the hell you want. Like I said, Netflix did not cancel Dave Chappelle. They're not going to cancel Mark Miller. People are tagging them in, though. They are tagging them in, though, right? Uh, John Trumbull is writer for Atomic Junk Shop, co-host of the SNL Nerd Show, uh, Munch Week creator, cartoonist, and stand-up comic in New Jersey. Uh, when you realize you don't need to be following Mark Miller on Twitter anymore, Green Arrow eBooks, stop supporting this man and his comics. They're just storyboards for Netflix. Uh, he said, Wi-Fi melts your brain, Mark. He supports Israel, so he believes in the war machine just as much as anyone else. Isn't that an anti-Semitic take? Anyway, I will defend you if you do it, Grant Morrison. Grant Morrison says uh, he still lives in uh, Glasgow. Is there a chance of bumping into him? There's a very good chance of running into him, me, Miller, and I hope I'm going 100 miles an hour when it happens. Uh, this is Comics Kirby, not to be confused with actual Jack Kirby, I'm sure. I just found out that Mark Miller was a conservative dumbass. No wonder I had a problem with his handling of political commentary in all of his books. <sighs> Anti-wife equation. Not like I was the biggest Mark Miller fan ever. This is disappointing. Grant Morrison heads, can we ever lose? Uh, yeah, so RFK is a freaking lunatic, and his misinformation campaign about COVID costs lives. He's a dangerous liar and psychopath. Sorry, Miller World, but this kind of public support from you means no support from me. Canceling my Image Comics buys. Someone please give Grant Morrison guaranteed pardon. It goes on and on and on. Um, this is how I know Mark Miller is one of the most creative comics writers working today. Could you possibly conceive the sheer imaginative capacity required to believe this? Incredible to think that such a person and a successful one at that could even exist. Oh my God. It's a shame Mark Hamill said he'd block you. That is true. That was kind of like, what the hell? You're not allowed to say anything. So this is what's weird because Kennedy is a Democrat, not to get political here. He's just not the right kind of Democrat, just like Tulsi Gabbard wasn't the right kind of Democrat. If he was publicly supporting like AOC for president or some shit like that, he'd be getting all kinds of fist bumps. But they're going to try very, very hard to cancel him, and it's not going to work. Guys, it's not going to work. The guy is, he's good. He's good. Like I said, they're, they're not going to cancel Dave Chappelle. They're not going to cancel Mark Miller. Nope, I had... 
I had to check it. I had to check it. There it is. Bleeding cool 36 minutes ago. You do not disappoint. Look at you go. Look at you go, Rich. Uh, no, I'm not going to support you with ads. <laughs> Here we go. Mark Miller comes out for RFK Jr., but Mark Hamill may block him. He may block him. Oh, my God. Uh, Robert Francis Kennedy Jr. is an environmental lawyer, politician, writer, has been an anti-vaccine campaigner for a couple of decades, as well as other public health-related conspiracy theories, recently targeted uh, uh, Fauci, Gates, and Joe Biden, now is launching a campaign to be the Democratic nominee for president of the United States to replace Joe Biden. We have to explain it to everybody like they're two years old. Joe Rogan as well. Joe Rogan. I only know of him because of Jude Terror. Jude Terror, the founder of Comicsgate, by the way, Jude Terror was, was calling out the mainstream comic book industry before it was cool, and he got shit on, massively shit on. Many folks took issue with Miller over his declared support, but no more prominent than Luke Skywalker himself, Mark Hamill, who appeared as a character in the Secret Service comic and its movie adaptation, Kingsman. Hamill replied to Miller saying, don't make me block you. And Mark Hamill knows about blocking. Obi-Wan trained him with lightsabers and everything. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. So what I predict is going to happen is a tempest in a teapot. This will have no bearing whatsoever on Miller's Netflix deals. It probably will have no bearing whatsoever on uh, his comic book sales. You know, unless we have the bullshit go down where, oh my God, Mark Miller's comics gate because he's a right winger supporting a Democratic candidate. Oh my God, he's literally killing people. They're saying that. You're supporting Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You're literally killing people. Don't invite him to any conventions anymore. If you invite Mark Miller to a convention, Mark Miller and Frank Miller, all the Millers, if you invite them to a convention, we're not going to come. We're not going to come to your convention, says the uh, <laughs> shaved head, blue haired, purple haired, whatever Tumblr cartoonist uh, who got three thousand dollars on Kickstarter. I'm not going to I'm not going to come to your convention if you invite that Mark Miller and that Frank Miller. We can't have the Millers because they're all bad. They're all a bunch of Nazis, Scottish Nazis. Anyway, uh <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up. This is just ridiculous. This is like this is the same bullshit. I don't think it's gonna work as well as it did before. I think a lot of people are over this. I mean, like I said, for decades, decades, comic book creators, creative types have had all kinds of political beliefs. Some of them really damn weird. Again, see Neil Adams. That has had no bearing on their ability to tell or draw good stories. And most comic book consumers didn't know anything about it unless they were very open about it. Like, uh, you know, Alan Moore and, you know, M magic and, and all that, that stuff. Right. Um, I, I just think this is, this, this has to end. This is stupid. So the guy votes for a guy you don't like who gives a shit or is comics any good. The show's any good. Is he, is he hurting you? Did he like walk up to your table and just like knock shit over. We're going to have some of these quote unquote comics pros try to get to his table and knock shit over and be like, that's for, that's for supporting Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Like the guy can't vote for him anyway. Can he? Is Miller a U.S. U.S. citizen? Can he, can he vote in the elections? Does it matter? Does it matter? I don't know. He's just saying, Hey, I like this guy. I mean, you can't say this guy is literally Hitler. He's supporting Israel. You know, so whatever. I'm going to I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, watch this space to see how crazy the comic book industry goes. But isn't that weird? I think I think what my takeaway is from this and I've seen this on multiple occasions. The most successful comic book creators out there tend to be the most independent thinking people out there. Let's see if Heidi McDonald is doing a hit piece, too. Not yet. She's working on it. I'm sure she is. I'm sure she is, because uh, they all tend to they all tend to find a target and just go after them. I think that uh, the most successful comic book creators are the independent thinkers, the Mark Millers, the Todd McFarlanes. You know, it goes on and on, and there there is a common thread, and that's that these guys have balls. They don't care what you think. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what the comic book industry thinks. They're basically existing in a space outside of the mainstream comic book industry, uh, one that includes 
much larger things like video games, toys, movies, television. They don't give a shit what some rando in Artist Alley thinks, what some random Kickstarter creator thinks. They don't care. They don't need to care. You're not a concern to them. And as far as these rags like, you know, Bleeding Cool and Comics Beat and all that stuff, I hate to say it, they're probably going to be gone. I don't really hate to say it, but I hate to break it to you if you're working there. They're probably going to be gone soon. The ad revenue is drying up and uh, they're frankly not making enough money in direct donations to keep it running long term. And it's just a matter of time until it just withers and dies. Um, so anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. And we'll talk later.